and we're back to Mass Effect 2. Where we last left off, we met a very elusive character. Literally. And and we're given the, given a um suggestion to go visit a freshly vacant colony. But first things first. Gustomi Secho. Helmet. Plus five percent health. Hmm. Yes, what what different pieces of armor you wear affect your stats? That's kind of amazing. Oh, DLC content. Cerberus Assault Armor. Heavy weapon ammo plus 10%, shields and health plus 10%. Eh, but it looks like shit. Chest plays oh, power damage. Three. Weapon damage hmm. plus 3. Health plus 3. Shields plus three, so you know, good all around. I guess we don't really have many, or any other options for those yet, anyway. So no, we just kind of find those lying around. Yeah, that sounds alright. Right. man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Don't worry, we'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress. It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost so every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. It's almost a terminal system, isn't it? Yep. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. <laughs> okay. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Okay then. Casually getting more paragon just from that. Yeah. Well, speaking of which... Squad... Oh yeah, you did level up. More paragon. You notice these, I still need to unlock by leveling up the other ones. Ah, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to go ahead and guess you want to get max out combat master. Oh, first. yeah, absolutely. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. You said you served in the enough. Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. Mm. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, so literally Corsairs in space. If we ever got mm -hmm. caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. Nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. <coughs> yes, sir. Sounds yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yes, sir. Well, up. he already has respect for you, so... Yep. Oh, just, just like that. Yeah, that was, um, well, that was prologue mission, basically. Ah. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survive. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Import bonus. Mm. Reporting a level 58 character <coughs> gave me bonus XP, Port bonus, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, if you br if it, it scales up to level sixty, but I didn't have the patience to grind that much, especially since you technically can't do that without a new game plus. 
Yeah, that would have been annoying. You received a uh, bonus <laughs> credits. We're importing a rich Mass Effect One character. I'm pretty sure that's what million, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Listen, zeros hurt me. <laughs> Bonuses is for having beaten Mass Effect Two already. Bonus experience. Retain all heavy weapons. Oh no! <laughs> Don't do well, that. This is gonna be insane. Uh, bonus credits. Bonus Ezo, Iridium, Palladium, and Platinum. M100 grenade launcher. Credits. This this campaign might be a bit of a breeze. Well, of course, I've done this a million times. Yeah, you just saying. Besides that, we should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. It'd be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Yeah, unlikely it does not mean impossible after all. Yeah. How many heavy weapons do you have? Uh, you can only carry one at a time, so... Mm -hmm. Locked. Squad member not loyal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Questions for later. We have to fix them. What do you think? Pull or incendiary? Mm. Or just put another in Cerberus operative. I think Cerberus operative. Alright. And Office. I think overload will be better. Oh, okay. Screw shields, stun synthetics. Yeah, what does work do? Effective against armor and biotic barriers. So it's also pretty useful. Yeah. Definitely not sounds like just raiders. No. This would be more than fire if it was raiders as well. I mean, look around. No, no gunshots. No plasma scoring. Nothing. No sign of fights. No bodies. No structural damage. No signs of battle. Like Jacob says, like everyone just got up and left. Mm-hmm. You totally need the credits! Then we're smacks. Sounds like they might have been waiting for you. Yes, but as Miranda pointed out, they were shut off at all the other colonies. <laughs> you weren't exploring the other colonies after them. I should have recognized this as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Oh boy, there's someone here. Hmm. Are they friend or are they foe? Well, given that they reprogrammed the boss to attack us. Might be a bit overpowered for this. Stop right there! Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? 
I'm not taking any oh, hello there. <coughs> Put those weapons down. Shepard, is that you're alive? Remember when I gave you that get data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is this your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. <laughs> Perhaps we can work together. She wouldn't know. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. She's good on some... She's grown up a bit. Drones to clear you a path. That's a word for it. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. That's apparently something that happened in one of the novels that I never read. Uh, Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. Noticed. We'll take care of them. Like they literally just flew past us. It's like kind of hard to miss him. Oh, hello. Okay then. Where is that now? Use overload on him. Okay. How about you die? I can't tell if that's Is that yeah, maybe you're just supposed to use overload for the tutorial? I've used overload on it. It's bugged. Uh -huh. Well, there's an easy solution, right up. You used to work on another one. There we go. Oh, I didn't mind. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we still catch them. Uh, of course. Yes, of course. Hold oh, left shift. She is doing a great job telling me where to go. Miss me, miss me. Get down, you imbecile. Hey, I was out of 25 for over the specialist. And this is why I picked barrier. Technically, my health is <laughs> But it doesn't matter because I've got a face. Technically, your heart is low. Also, technically, I don't give a shit. Yeah, like, also, technically, I still have a. Uh, we'll take cover by the doors. 
Right. Miranda, are you gonna? I might have rebounded at some point. Q and T. I did. So I say. Well, it is still a kind of an old game, it's not exactly. Yep. You know. And this is what happens when you rush ahead. Yeah. yeah. Before the end of games being good at automatically updating the UI, yeah. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Eh, we got our love. Okay, still gonna be kind of tough, I guess. Yeah. By the way, you notice the naming theme of these maps? Loki, Fenrir, Ymir. Again. Don't have dodge. Oh, I heard they say where is the spray bus or something. Damn it, Shepard. It's going up. No. Stay next to this. I think Severus was trick again. I don't remember. Tradition, I guess. Mechs will protect, safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's got to sing it. No veto. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Welcome to the interrupt system. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. I want to know more about the Collector. Makes sense. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. 
What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. That's not even a question. Mm-hmm. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. Hmm. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. Too bad she's not coming with us. Up. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> if only we could have her this early in the game. Right. Well, we're pretty much still on tutorial territory, so... Good yeah. work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy <coughs> is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. I wonder but why! More importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Why is the Omega-4 relay on map? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they mm -hmm. shifted their focus Good to humans? Point. If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. I have six dossiers for you to begin with. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vakarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Hmm. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. A sharp change from the, I never want to go back there, we just, we, we used to know. 
What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Uh-huh. Okay, I get it. They're not available. Sure. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can see. His name Joker. <laughs> hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. Well, I saw you get spaced. Got lucky with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. Team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Sir, too. So basically, Norman did the same. Yep. It's beautiful. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? Mm. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Normandy two, good. Normandy two. He says SR1, so you know. Yeah, SR2. <laughs> well, the SR makes sense. SR is the ship's designation, stealth reconnaissance. Normandy SR1, because it was the first one. And since no others have been made since, Normandy SR2. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's my news. <laughs> Survivor Vitor returned with Talizora to the Magnet Free Fleet. We'll examine his Omnidor data for anything useful. Ammo, well, ammo upgrade. Have to recruit a head scientist to get this upgrade. Mm. Credits, there we go. Yeah, as you might notice, heavy weapons are going to run with a different ammo than the rest of the arsenal. Makes sense, I guess. Considering how powerful they are. Yeah, makes sense. Be home, huh? Mm -hmm. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Hello, Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, 
I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing Ooh. it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I find it funny there's not a there's not a peep about the fact that there's an AI on the ship. What with you know yeah. the whole AI bad uh, stigma. Yeah, it is kind of strange. <laughs> yes, yes, I already know all this. I was about to guess that maybe things changed in the last two years. Oh, no, no. AI still bad. I don't know. Yep, show me some stuff I can't access yet. <coughs> Journal update, journal update, journal update, journal update. Status select. And bam. And this, this time it actually doesn't show you what they look like, so you don't get as much info. So I see. The veterans. But it's uh, a bit larger. <laughs> yep. Zaid Masani. Combat survival, tactics protection. Last seen on Omega, reputation as premier bounty hunter in the galaxy has caught up with him, and he's rumored to spend his days drinking and shooting would-be rivals. None better in a fight. The Justicar. Justicar Samara. Wait. What's the great that ones? Uh, ones I don't have access to yet. Actually, Justicar and a couple others should be grayed out, but the Mass Effect Recalibrated mod opens up more stuff early. Uh, I don't know. Biotic strength near out of a matriarch. Extensive weapon training. The Justicar, a rare member of an Asari monastic group trained in enhanced combat biotics along sta alongside standard weaponry. Was recently sighted on Ilium, outside normal Asari space. Hmm. The Professor, Dr. Morden Solis, biological weapons expert. Light weapons training with Solarian Special Task Group. Morden Solis is a Solarian biological weapons expert whose technology may hold the key to counteracting collector attacks. He's currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Useful use of his time. <clears throat> Archangel. Small unit tactical expertise, omni-tool expert, and noted sniper. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He's responsible for high-profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and can likely be found there. He's having fun. <coughs> the Warlord, Dr. O'Keer. Millennia of combat strategic experience, rumored familiarity with collector technology. Brilliant, brutal Krogan Warlord and Krogan Rebellions veteran, O'Keer is obsessed with saving the Krogan from the Genophage. It appears he contacted the collectors to gain a necessary technology. Currently at a Blue Suns camp on Corliss, his relationship with the mercenaries is unknown. <coughs> the Assassin. Dane Krios, quick kill biotic specialist, expert sniper. <coughs> Dane Krios is a drill trained from childhood as an elite assassin proficient in both long range sniping kills and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years but is rumored to have a target on Ilum. Hmm. There's a lot of things on Ilum. Yeah, and on Omega. The yeah. convict, Jack, no last name. <coughs> Exceptional biotic ability. Note criminal background, currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful bi human biotic. Little else known, but the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus is negotiated for subject's release. And finally, the Master Thief. Kasumi. Sabotage, infiltration, extraction, property acquisition, stealth, agile combat. This subject has stolen extremely valuable resources from Cerberus in the past. Alarm systems, DNA encoders, guards, and various other deterrents are bypassed, and we don't know how. She was last seen <laughs> in the Citadel. Oh, I like her. <laughs> her, I like. 
Unfortunately, Kasumi and Zaid are going to be the easiest to acquire. Literally walk up and say hi. So, uh, I've been looking at it. Does that mean we basically don't get our previous team at all? Uh, one. I'll go and tell you, one of these is Tally. Ah, uh, but they probably have different names. So. I mean, so. Tally is straight up re re referenced by name. He even I'm says boy. not willing. he's not willing to commit to that yet. Ah, so she's probably one of the great that ones. Yeah, I, I, I just told you, one of those two is Tally. Yeah, I'm Yeoman Kelly point. Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything she's I should know? <laughs> you have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. So let's take a few minutes to chat. And read messages. <coughs> a message from Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true when you actually are alive, I need you to come to the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Yes, From the elusive man, deal struck with Zaid. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with the veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems, and is feared as a ruthless and a relentless bounty hunter. I feel you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Oh. Lost contact with a survey, survey ship. I don't know if we're going to do this. It's an annoying DLC, so don't worry about it. What do you think about it? <coughs> Normandy crash site located from Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final lo location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument either first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that these, those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. We are definitely going to do that. Oh, that's absolutely. Important. Cerberus Assault Armor, that's just saying, hey, we've got that armor for you. Arc projector. That's just saying we've got an arc projector in inventory. Hmm. And rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. <clears throat> At great cost and effort, we've tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to see her, have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Interesting. Yep. Well, we have multiple reasons to go to the citadel, so... We have multiple places, reasons to go lots of places. And we'll do that yes. next time. Also, yes. Bye. Bye.